hello guys welcome to a new video in this video i'm going to show you how to create a camera controller similar to games like league of legend or dota or any moba game using the rts camera controller in the unity asset store so let's start with the video first you can use the sample scene you find when you download the, uh, the asset or you can just make your own it's very easy first you just have to create an empty game object call it whatever you like and attach the your main camera to that object and reset its position to 000 and then you just drag the top-down camera script into your camera holder and that's it then you have the settings and you will just adjust them to fit your game so now let's adjust the settings to make it similar to league of legends first we need to have this camera edge scrolling like in all mobile games to explore the map uh, first let's go to the camera controller let's go to edge scrolling you can see here the can scroll make sure it's enabled the scroll speed and max scroll speed it's up to you you can adjust it from the game setting anyway and for the x minimum and the maximum and the z minimum and maximum it depends on your map for example in this sample map i cannot go further than like minus 30 in the x or 30 in the z or if everything is minus 30 to 30 so you can adjust this fit to fit your game and now the acceleration make sure it's not zero because in league of legends I believe there is acceleration in the camera so the more you are scrolling the camera will go faster and faster and until it hits like the maximum acceleration speed and then let's go to the next step which is the lock to target in, lock, in League of Legends when you lock the camera again it snap back to your player but I think it's not smooth it snap back like so fast so let's go here to general settings in the lock make sure it's always lock at first because I think when you start the game in League of Legends the camera will be automatically locked and in the lock type make it move to target or lock in place it depend on your game settings in League of Legends I think it's locked to target so when you lock your camera it will snap back to your player i don't think it locks in the place or maybe it does i don't know if it does just make your uh, make it lock in place uh, so for the tilt it's something like 60 and for the rotation it's 55 so in this camera settings you can rotate the camera by dragging the screen but in mobile games you cannot rotate the camera so in the settings go to rotation and just uh, disable the can rotate so now the camera will always be locked at 55 degrees and you cannot rotate it for the zoom of course depend on your game anyway you can zoom in and out in the range for the height make it like twice of your player height for this game I make it like two as you can see when I adjust the height camera will just go up and down you can make it leave it at zero but the player will not be exactly centered because the camera is tilted so in this example two is good I think uh, for the zoom in League of Legends or any MOBA games I think there is no smoothness in zooming as you can see here in this example there is a little bit of smoothness so you can go here in the zoom section and just put it to zero and now it will be just zooming like very fast like this sensitivity doesn't matter you can adjust it like you want of course the higher the faster you zoom and for the range make it five at the minimum so it will just cover your player and for the maximum I think it's something like 20 in League of Legends so uh, for the edge scrolling also I don't think there is a smoothness let me just unlock the camera so I can scroll uh, I think there is no smoothness in League of Legends so make sure to 
and make the smoothness zero here too so it will snap up oh, sorry it will move with no smoothness you can adjust the edge thickness also for this example it's like 10 but let's make it something like 30 so now when I move my, ca my, my cursor closer to the edge of the screen my camera will start scrolling of course the higher the value the edge thickness is the far you can get your mouse the camera to move so 30 might be a good value depend on your game or you can just make it something small like 10 so you will not scroll the camera by mistake when you move your cursor like close to the edge but you have to move it really close to the edge so the camera will start scrolling or far far, far from the edge uh, so there is another important uh, step here in this example as you can see there is some jittering when my character moves this is because when you go to target follow I am moving my character uh, in fixed update because I'm using rigid body but in your game you might not use rigid body you might just use transform or nav mesh in this case just leave it like this but if you are using rigid body like I am just make sure to tick the target using rigid body option here so now the camera will follow it in the fixed update and will not on update so it will fix that jittering and for the follow smoothness there is no smoothness in mobile game so let's just make it to zero also and you can see here my camera is not the target and for the input section make sure to this toggle free camera put it to wherever you like in league of legends is uh, i think it's set to space so when you move the space button the camera will toggle from lock and unlocked for example now it's unlocked and if i click space it will lock to the target so that's it thank you guys for watching i hope you can find this asset useful i will gladly listen to your feedbacks and some features you'd like to add you can get it now in the unity asset store for a really cheap price to be honest like it's almost free and yeah see you in the next video